How's it going guys, Lucian Sword here, and I'm gonna show you the best way to grind experience and items and money that I found in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So uh, best place to go is actually in the Harada Estate, which means that you can actually do this pretty early on in your uh, Sekiro career. So we're gonna head to the Bamboo Thicket Slope Idol. Alright, so we're at the Bamboo Thicket Idol here, and what we're going to do is work our way backwards to the next uh, idol, basically. Um, this route has given me, it has about 20, 21, uh, 20 to 25 enemies, so you're going to get about 700 to 800 experience each run, and you're also going to get like 500 to 600 money. Um, that's using no uh, item boost at all. I like to usually use uh, one of these Mibu Possession Balloons or the uh, Mibu Balloon of Wealth so you can get more money or more items, but that's totally up to you. Uh, this run takes about three minutes to complete. So three minutes for 700 to 800 XP and five to 600 cents, not bad at all. So let's go ahead and start. You're gonna just run back here, swing a left. We can kill this guy right here. Because we're working backwards, most of these guys uh, won't even be looking at us. You could do it the front way, which is the way I was doing it, but then I realized it's actually better to just work your way backwards. Now with these guys up here, you want to actually try to get the guy that's closest to the door because he's a little bit tougher. Oh, I forgot to use my balloon of wealth. Let's go ahead and pop that. After you kill the guys at the door, just swing the first left. Go down this alleyway. There's going to be a bunch of guys down here. A couple dogs as well, so you might want to have some shurikens out to take the dogs out. Makes it a little easier. I like to go up top and take out the archer before I do anything else. Wow. Just go ahead. This can be a little sloppy right here. That's okay. Oh my gosh. Not doing what I'm trying to do. There we go. This guy is absolutely tough. Usually I never have to heal. So after we kill these guys, go ahead and jump up onto the roofs. And we're just going to head this way. Jump up over the roof up here. And there's going to be some guys right down here. This is the hardest guy, so I like to kill him first, followed by the archer, followed by the flame dude, who can be actually pretty good if you're not careful. And last but not least, don't forget the dude in the room over here. So as you can see, we are just slicing through these guys like hot knife through butter. Um, you can easily do this run in three minutes, like I said. And a very, very quick, easy way to grind levels here in Sekiro. Now, there was a couple enemies I may have missed, but that's pretty much the end of the run. So you can just go ahead and commune right here and go ahead and travel straight back and start the process all over again. Um, like I said, there's probably a couple of guys I may have missed, but um, that's up to you if you want to go search around. I usually just stick to that main path that I 
showed you right there. There's also a couple uh, chickens over on the side that you could have killed, but they don't give a whole lot of XP. So that's up to you guys. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. This is the best place to grind levels. I literally grind like grinded like 15 levels on my other guy in just like an hour. So uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, this is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you guys in some future Sekiro videos. Be sure to hit that like button if you found this helpful. And be sure to subscribe for more Sekiro and other games as well. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.